Y'all know what weekend it is. Rookie mini camp. Let's get it. What's good, people? It's your boy, Mr. Rome, Cowboys fan talk. Right back like I never left. Happy Friday, man. Wanted to jump in here real quick and chop it up with y'all before I leave work. You know what I'm saying? A um, couple things happened over the last couple of days that I figured I would want to get to outside of the schedule release and all of the, oh, the, the, the craziness. The hate within the Cowboys fan base is crazy. It's either you're supposed to hate the team or you love the team too much. Ain't no in between. It's a line drawn in the sand. People is angry. I don't know what's going on, man. For everybody that's angry and just swear we're going to be trash, man, I pray for you because that's a hard life to live. I can't do it myself. But, y'all, man, hey, y'all, y'all keep hope alive, man. Y'all keep coming in the comments and trying to tell us why we weak or we trash. And um, I'll keep ignoring you. So, you know, everybody got to do their part. Uh, <laughs> um, let's talk rookie minicamp, though. Rookie minicamp. Um, yesterday, I think, um, if I'm not mistaken, let me grab the word jack. Um, yesterday we signed four rookies, if I'm not mistaken. We signed Simi Fuhoku um, from Stanford. Sorry, I'll be butchering his name. Fifth round receiver. Um, Quentin Bohana, Big Bo. Um, sixth round, um, one tech. Um, Israel Mukwamu, Mukwamu, I think. Um, South Carolina, sixth round cornerback, might convert to safety. And we signed our center slash guard, Mark Farnock, who's probably going to be our backup for Tyler Biadish. A lot of people have been talking about um, who's going to be the backup for Biadish. Since he can play center and guard, that's probably our backup, more than likely. So everybody got signed and locked in. Um, there's still some other rookies, obviously, Mike Parsons, Kevin Joseph, that haven't signed yet. We're going to get them locked up. Don't worry about that. Um, it's just a matter of time, but, um, all of the undrafted free agents that we brought in, all of our draft picks, hundred percent attendance. Um, so it's looking good, looking good for the rookie mini camp. Um, obviously it's not going to be contact drills and everything like that, but it's going to be a good way to see our rookies get around, you know, get to move around, um, start fiddling, f figuring out where you want to place people. Um, speaking of that. Michael Parsons came out there yesterday and basically said, in the rookie interviews, basically said he's going to be playing Mike linebacker. I love to hear that. We need somebody like Parsons in the middle, um, roaming around, basically running sideline to sideline, being able to stop the run, our biggest problem last year. So I'm loving that. Um, I'm liking that he, somebody probably told him where he's going to be at, so that's why he's confident enough to say it. Um, whether that moves around during the season, we will see. But that probably will put Jalen to the Sam, which I feel like is a better position for him. Um, as much as people might think, well, are they getting rid of Jalen? They probably can't because we wouldn't save any money. So he's going to be here, and he's not non-serviceable. It's not saying that Jalen Smith can't play football. I'm just hoping that the drafting of these linebackers light a fire under him and that he is ready to ball this year. So you move him to Sam, you move LVE out to the wheel. I know you saying, well, we're going to do a kneel. Um my boy Nix, we had a, a live stream last night. Y'all go check that out, Star Game Podcast on uh, YouTube. He had a great point saying that, you know, I, I'm I'm 50 50 on if KZ can play. And it's more so because of the injury. It's not what was before that. Demonte KZ, just the free safety we picked up. If Demonte KZ is somehow not ready at the start of the season or is running like he got a piano on his back, he said, why not run Neil and Wilson at the same time? Now, look, we signed Neil before the linebackers were drafted. And I know there was devout and saying he's going to be a linebacker, even after the draft. He's going to be a linebacker, and he might. Because injuries happen, and you need to have flexible players that can play multiple positions, man, which is the new way of the NFL. But if he don't, with his contract we signed him to, because he make it more than Casey, we might run Neil and Wilson and move Wilson over to free. I don't know how I feel about that. But Donovan Wilson right now is a better free safety than Xavier Woods. So at worst, we still better than last year. I'm not saying exponentially better, but we better than last year. So, yeah, man, 
Um, I think I might be more comfortable with Neil at strong, which is his natural position, and Wilson at free safety than Neil, or Wilson and KZ. Um, but we're going to see. Still a lot of time. It's only May 14th. We got a lot of time until the start of the season. More transactions will happen. I promise you we're bringing in more players. This is not it. Um, Steven Jones, Steven Jones' favorite time of the year is coming up. Second free agency. At post-June 1st cuts. You know, as rosters get constructed, people start realizing I can use that younger and cheaper player in this spot. And then you cut veterans who can't demand big contracts because most of the money has gone. So Steven Jones, this is his time to shine. I'm positive that we bring in some more secondary help because I feel like that's where we are weakest. Uh, whether it's what I feel like with the free safety position or like what my boy Nix was saying last night, um, we need more corner depth. We will be bringing in some more players, I have no doubt. So let's <laughs> let's watch Steven Jones work. That's coming up, man. Um, but before I jump up out of here, man, before I jump up out of here, Tom Brady last week, after the schedule was released, he was talking spicy, man. He was he was trying to pop his trash, talking about, you know, playing America's team. And he wanted to put it in quotes, man. Because, you know, everybody want to take cheap shots at Dallas. I feel you. I'm not here to say Tom Brady is trash. I ain't going to denigrate his seven chips, which is still crazy to me. But this is why our franchise quarterback is our franchise quarterback. Quote Dak Prescott in response to Tom Brady saying, you know, he's excited to play America's team. They said, you know, what does this game mean to you going against Tom Brady? And Dak Prescott says, this game means more than an opponent and his rings. Dak always knows what to say, not to say too much, not to say too little. It was the perfect response to Brady. A little shot. Like, look, man, I see you. You got them rings? I got a long way to go to even get mentioned in the breath with you. I feel you. But ain't nobody stressing you. Ain't nobody worried about the bucks. That confidence shot rolls through the locker room. That's why Dak's a leader. We not worried about Brady, his rings, y'all rings, the fact that y'all Super Bowl champions, it's a new season. I'm ready to come back and show y'all what I can do and what we can do with me at the helm. Ain't nobody thinking about Tom Brady. How can I put this? I just like, like, that's why he's our franchise quarterback. It's not just that he can make throw deep outs, that he has an amazing completion percentage, that he leads the team greatly. It's, it's, it's all about his mindset. Dak Prescott is so much more of a better leader than I would say, I, and I'll throw this out there, like 90% of the quarterbacks in the league. Dak is that type of leader. Y'all can dispute that in the comments. I don't really care. Y'all dispute everything I say anyway. That's fine. But to hear Dak talk spicy, I like that. I like a response. I like, I ain't going to just be quiet. I'm going to let you know I heard you. Heard you. But check out what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? I've been seeing the workouts. I've been seeing Lyle Collins looking good. Lyle Collins got like a, a little fat pack. It ain't a six pack. But he came into camp out of shape last year. Like our team is looking good. Y'all been seeing Zeke. Zeke heard y'all. Zeke heard y'all, man. I should do a whole video on Zeke. Because he's looking good, man. He's looking at least focused at the bare minimum. You know, I think he's poised to, to just come back in better shape, better mindset. Um, everybody seems like they got a chip on their shoulders. And all of the rookies, man, um, Joseph came out there. He sound humble. He sound focused. He said he ready to get in. And... Y'all go check out the, um, the Cowboys YouTube channel, man. They got the rookie interviews there. Big Bo, he just seemed like he's going to be a good player, man. I like his attitude. He just looked like a breath of fresh air, like a different type of mindset on these players. Maybe I'm just hyped for no reason. I don't care. I just like the way they look focused, you know? But look, y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments, man. I'm hype about rookie minicamp. I'm sure some stories is going to come out. It's closed to the public, so we won't be seeing much. But we're going to be hearing what we can because there's reporters there that do have access, and we're going to get what we can. Until then, it's your boy, Mr. Rome, man. Until I chop it up with y'all, y'all enjoy y'all weekend, man. Be blessed. I'll talk to y'all soon.